In this video, we'll balance the equation iron 3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide gives us iron 3 hydroxide plus potassium nitrate. This is a double displacement reaction. So let's add up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one iron, and then NO3, that's a polyatomic ion, it's called the nitrate ion. We have nitrate here, and it stays together, and we have nitrate over here. So we're going to call this just one item. We have one nitrate, but this three applies to the nitrate. So we have three times the one, we have three nitrates, one potassium in this OH. That's another polyatomic ion. It's called the hydroxide ion, and it stays together too. We have an OH here, and then it, right here again is the hydroxide ion. So we're going to say we have one hydroxide, one OH, right there. On the product side, we have one Fe, we have one nitrate, one potassium, and then three of these hydroxides. All right. Well, it looks like we could balance the nitrates by putting a three in front of the KNO3. So we have one times three. That gives us three potassiums, but three applies to everything. So the one nitrate times the three. That gives us three nitrates. So we've balanced the nitrates. Potassiums are off and the hydroxides are off. Let's balance the potassiums. If we put a coefficient of three in front of the KOH, now we have one times three. So the potassium atoms, those are balanced. And then this OH, we have one of these hydroxides times the three. That gives us three hydroxides. And now those are balanced and we're done. This equation is balanced. So by counting these polyatomic ions like the nitrate here because we have it here again or the hydroxide which we have on this side as well is just one item that makes the balancing much easier and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeNO33 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.